righty, I think we made it. Uh, welcome everybody to the CNC with Dave Gett Show. I've got my special guest, <laughs> Becca Miller, who I finagled into helping me judge the <laughs> competition this year. It was tough. Yeah. It was very tough. Uh, we were talking earlier before we went live here that uh, the bar has been raised. It looks <laughs> like, uh, you know, a simple uh christmas projects not going to cut it anymore you're going to have to really uh, really come up with something good and, and think outside the box a little bit so um really really happy with the quality of the entries we got this year let's take a quick look and see who we've got over here today we've got javi's in the house dwight bennett troy pritchard jim Senecolas watching from michigan Let's see who else we got here. Jay Crowder, Ron Godot, Rob Hampton. How you doing, Rob? Rodney Williams, Andrew Haig, uh, Steve, or Keith Painter, I'm sorry. Steve from Hornell Media, Jason Pulliam, Matt Awesome Wood Things Haas is in the house. Clyde Labani, Dean uh, is in the house tonight. Mike Kaichu, Paul Stewart, Landis Stooge, Jared Seymour, Greg Engelman. Just a ton of people we got uh, tuning in tonight. So welcome, everybody. Uh, we're going to be going over the entries for the 2019 Gatton CNC Christmas Challenge. Uh, I do want to uh, talk a little bit before we get started um, about some other things. Um, I did a, uh, some of you, if you follow me on Facebook and stuff, you might know, I did a, a poll the other day. Um, actually, it was uh, the last day of the year. And I just kind of left it wide open. I said, uh, you know, if I was to come out with something new for 2020, what would you want it to be? Just add your option below. And we got some pretty interesting things. But uh, first of all, I'll tell you right now, there's not going to be a swimsuit calendar. That uh, Ryan Ballard added that one. And not only did he add it, but it looks like 20 people <laughs> voted for it. But, yeah, that's uh, that won't be happening. Um but some of the other choices were a custom Gat and CNC screen set for Mach 3 that includes three-way touch plate support. Uh, another option was a standard control system with a bob, uh, breakout board, uh, fine-tuning adjustments for trimming the router on the Z-Box, um, and then a standalone no PC CNC controller. And then finally, somebody put uh, standard controller slash software combo. So those were the choices, and I thought they were interesting. Um, uh, really, I didn't see some things that I thought I might, though. But, but anyway, I'm going to leave that up for probably a few more days or so. And uh, if anybody, uh, you know, if you've got something totally different than that that you'd like to see me come out with for 2020, uh, just go over there and click add option and put in what you think. Um, but yeah, the, the swimsuit calendar is a no go for sure. I told Dave that if, if uh, he did the swimsuit, I was going to send him one of me. So, <laughs> so that guarantees that's not going to happen. Thank the Lord. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah. So um, anyhow, I also want to thank, um, the, the folks we have that are sponsoring and I, and I want to give a special shout out to a, a couple of people. One, you know, when I get ready to do this challenge, um, we usually have, you know, we, I think we had 16, 17 or so entries and that's about what we usually have. Um, uh, and I like to, you know, to try to come up with some sponsors, you know, some different prizes. Um, and, and I know it's tough because, you know, a lot of these companies, they're already sponsoring bigger channels and all this kind of stuff. Uh, so they may have, 
you know, limited, limited funds as far as uh, offering prizes. But I, I went through and I, I picked out all of the woodworking places that you can think of to, to buy from. And I sent off a bunch of emails and I got to give a big shout out to Mike at Klingspore uh, because he literally answered my email within like five minutes. And he said, um, well, I'm looking at his email right here. He says, we would be happy and honored to sponsor this. You should know that you have a standing reservation for us to sponsor this challenge every year. So uh, a big shout out to Mike for, uh, for that. I appreciate that. And uh, if you need to buy any stuff, you need to go buy it from Klingsport. That's <laughs> what I'll say. Because uh, some of the others, I'm not even going to mention their names. I, I not only didn't, you know, didn't get anything uh, as a sponsor prize, but I didn't get anything, didn't even hear back from them. So I'm like, okay, you know, you know. But anyway, so, but I'm going to talk about who we got. We got uh, Klingsport is uh, going to sponsor with this kind of prize. And I'm going to read this from his email too. He says, we have uh, several grits available very soon. So this should be a nice price pack for 3d drawings. I think that would be a really handy, uh, little tool for, uh, for sanding drawings, especially the 3d drawings. So, um, and he says they've been testing them and they work better than the four and a half inch version. So that's a two inch, uh, where you can get into some tight spots and stuff. So that will be one of the prizes. The other one, let's see if I can find the, uh, I just changed computers the other day, so I'm having to search Dave, my emails. Dave, what does claims for sell? Just, just sending stuff or what? I don't know. I'm not familiar. Uh, they're, uh, they're, well, if, if you look at their website right up here, it says Kling Sports woodworking shop. They sell all kinds of stuff. Okay. In fact, uh, Every, um, I guess it's October, they have the Klingspore Extravaganza Woodworking Show. And that's actually where I bought my um, DeWalt 788 scroll saw. So they sell, they sell, you know, that's probably what they're best known for is their abrasives and sanding stuff, but they sell all kinds of stuff. Okay. Um, and that's a great show if you get a chance to go to a, go to it it's a it's a great show to go to um let me see here okay yeah let me pull this up rockler was the another one that's gonna um be a sponsor and let me put this up they're gonna offer a set of four of their rockler hold down clamps um, these are pretty handy. I've used these for a long time. I actually you just use my wooden ones now. Um, but, uh, but they're going to offer a set of four of those. So that will be one prize. And finally, um, Michael Murray, I don't know if he's out there watching tonight or not. Um, but he is going to do, uh, two, $50 Amazon gift card. So big shout out to Mike Murray for, uh, for offering those up. And I think I just messed up my, uh, no, I guess I didn't. I closed some of this stuff out. Okay. So thank you, Mike, for, um, for that. So that takes care of, uh, four prizes. And what I said I would do are, I'm pretty sure I said this in, in some of the other shows. Um, anybody that had an entry, uh, I'm going to create a list of, um, you know, things like router bits, uh, maybe some touch plates, um, maybe a wireless keyboard. I did some different things that I've purchased over the years and use in my shop, and I know they're pretty handy. And I'm going to create a list. And then as, as you know, we're going to be rattling off the top five tonight. Um, and they will, you know, be the, obviously the first to choose off the, the list of prizes. And then when we get down to where 
all of the sponsored prizes are gone, then I will be sending out a, an email and you can select, um, you know, whatever you want off that list. And I will be purchasing it and having it drop ship straight to your house from uh, from Amazon. So you'll have it like probably a couple of days. But uh, but anyway, that's, uh, you know, I just I just felt like, you know, I know how it is. It's a little bit of work to get out there in your shop. And it, I mean, it may not be so much work to do a project, but it's a lot more work when you have to try to video it. And so uh, nobody knows better than me what a pain in the butt it is to try to video something. It always takes about takes about three times as long to do a project when you're trying to shoot video of it. So uh, I decided I would just make sure that every single person that has entered will at least get something. So, all righty. Well, I'm going to, uh, I got to, you know, bear with me a second here. I'm trying to get some of this stuff up here. Because I got a picture of it that we can go through. Yeah, here we go. Um, I thought what we would do is go through just the whole list, all the entries we've got, and just show everybody. Because if, if you haven't watched the playlist yet, as we talk about these, you won't know what the heck we're talking about. So we're just going to go through. And I've just got these pictures listed in the order that I received them. So th this is no, uh, you know, don't anybody think, oh, well, they, they must have won. No, it's just, this is just how I received them. So we'll go through and and talk about uh, each one. And Becca, feel free to jump in here and give me your thoughts. This one was from Melinda Davies. Uh, this is, if I'm not mistaken, this is her first time to ever enter in this uh, challenge. And I particularly enjoyed her video because she has the very last metal Sidewinder CNC that I had. She got, she got the very last one. So it was, oh, it was cool for me personally to, to watch her video and get to see that machine. Uh, I like this video because the way she did it, she she cut one half of the way down on one side and flipped it over and cut the other half down. So it had a clean cut on both sides. And I would have never thought to do that. I would just cut right on through, but it makes so much more sense. Yeah. Way. Yeah. Yeah. If you watch the video, like I said, you can't tell it here because this is just a, a still shot I took of of the finished product. But if you watch the video, she is, is a double-sided uh, project, which, you know, adds to the complexity of it. But that was a, a great entry for her first time. And, and I know we'll, if Melinda continues to enter the challenge, you'll see some pretty cool stuff because I know, I know what she can do. <laughs> so um, let's go on to the next one here. This one is from one of the one of the entries from Dave Matthews, uh, and I don't know if this is uh, Lexan acrylic plexiglass. I'm not sure which it is, but it's a couple of uh, Christmas ornaments: a snowflake and um, a Santa Claus with the date. Um, the next one I have is again from a first time, um, uh, you know, a person that's entering for the first time. Uh, the YouTube channel just simply says MH, but it is Meredith Hammond. Uh, and I don't know if she's out there watching, uh, or I guess it could be a he, I don't really know. Um, no, yeah. I'm like Meredith. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just going to say Meredith because I'm not I'm not sure, uh, you know, I couldn't tell from the video. But what what this project was about is they use their CNC to make. Um, ink blocks, ink blocks, I guess, is what you would call them. And, you know, and then they put it in kind of a printing press style thing, a roller 
and it was, you know, allows you to create all kinds of stuff to decorate either bags or, you know, I mean, this is just on some brown bags, but you can put it on pretty much anything, um, you know, as long as you can fit it through that printing press type thing. So I thought that was very cool. Um, something, di you, you know, uniquely different than, uh, than some of the other projects. So I think you'd have to do your, your cut backwards. I don't, I, I don't remember noticing that when I was watching the video, but you'd have to make your cut backwards and then roll the ink on it so that when you print right. it, it would right. correctly. Yeah. Yeah. In the video, they show taking a roller and rolling, I, I guess it was ink or whatever <laughs> on it. Um, but yeah, you'd have to do it uh, backwards, I think, to get it to uh, to print forwards when you right. when you're looking at it. Just a, just a cool project, I thought. So, yeah. all right, the number four project that I got was uh, this is four. Uh, let's see, I guess I can try to enlarge these a little bit. This is uh, some. Um, this is from Jim Senecola, and I think he said it's plexiglass ornaments. If that's not correct, Jim, let me know. I think that's... Uh, yeah, that's what he said. Um, diamond, he used diamond drag on plexiglass. Yeah, yeah, he used the diamond drag bit, and he personalized them. I guess that's uh, grandkids' names, I think. So I thought that was uh, very cool. All right, let's see. Let's see, I guess I have to slide this back in. All right. Next one is another entry from Dave Matthews. Um, and this one is a, uh, well, it's a Christmas tree, obviously, but I, I, I'm trying to think of what I should call it. It's like a uh, put together tab A into slot B kind of thing, I think. Uh, but it's a, a nice little Christmas tree shelf thing. I thought when I saw this that his is small, but you could make it large and use it to put your um, Christmas village in. Yeah, you could. You yeah, could. It, it, I like the design. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, and again, this is just a still shot that I took from... Um, you know, screenshot I got from the video, but when he, in the video, he has it on like a uh, lazy Susan and he spins it around mm -hmm. uh, and it looks the same way on the other side. It's, it's uh, you know, it's not just this front side. It goes all the way around there. So that was a pretty cool project. Nicely done. Okay, next. And people will probably look at this and, you know, if you're looking at just this picture and go, what the heck is that? <laughs> that is a wooden rolling pin that Rob Schuster made. And I even included a picture of one of the cookies because you can see how here it has Lori and then a Christmas tree and then Rob. And it's backwards here. And then when he makes a cookie, and this is like a shortbread cookie, it came out with Lori and the Christmas tree and then Rob. Um, now, I, I, I kidded with Rob a little bit because he actually sent me like five of these cookies. And I was thinking he was trying to uh, get a little, uh, what, what do they call it? Quid, quid something. <laughs> I think you call it bribery. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, that's that's the easy way to say it. But, uh, but yeah, but the cookies were delicious. They're long, uh, long gone. But uh, hey, Rob, um, you, you mentioned in the um, video that it was not practical because you, it stuck to the dough, and you really tried all different things, and it didn't work well. My sister-in-law bought one of these very similar. Um, rolling pins that had the design in it and they tried everything just like you and it stuck and they finally found that um, powdered sugar if they use powdered sugar on the rolling pin that it worked perfectly so before you give up on it completely give that a try and see how it works yeah 
Yeah, yeah, because I think he said he was having to uh, to do something to it each time because it was sticking. But yeah, that uh, and I don't think Rob's watching. I saw he, he posted on Facebook that he had uh, uh, his anniversary. He was taking his wife out for dinner tonight, so he's probably not watching live. But uh, that's why Becca was letting him know about the powdered sugar thing. So definitely give that a shot, Rob. All right, let's see. Next, we've got one that uh, <laughs> it was funny because when Becca sent me her list, I'm thinking well, she called it the same thing I called it. <laughs> we called this one the Poopin' Penguin. Um, this is a uh, very nice project. Um, you know, the paint and everything is just perfect on it. But it is a, uh, a penguin that you fill up with uh, what do you have in it? M and M's, M mm and -hmm. M's, I think. Uh, and then you raise up one of the the little fins or arms or whatever you call it on a penguin, and it will. Poop. Yeah, it'll poo a little uh, M and M. So uh, very uh, very clever. Uh, the video is just fun to watch. Like I said, if you haven't already watched uh, the playlist, make sure you go watch them, especially this one. That was. Uh, a really good one. So we, we called that the, well, actually I called it the candy pooping penguin. <laughs> um, well, and that was uh, John Ol Olthofer, I think is how you say his name. So well done there, John. Uh, next we have, and this was a really interesting uh, project. Um and again, you'd have to go, you know, when I'm just showing these still photos, it doesn't tell you how they did it, but you'd have to go watch the video. But he used his CNC to make even this tiny little manger scene up here. And then he also... Can you make that bigger, Dave? Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Or as big as I can, I guess. But yeah, so he, he made this manger scene. And I remember, I think he said that in the video that this is two inches by three inches. So knowing that that's three inches, then, you know, I don't know what this would be, you know, eight or nine inches or something. And I'm guessing, I don't know for sure, but I'm guessing that he's got either a phone or maybe a tablet uh, back here. And that's what's showing the fire scene. If uh, Mike is out there in the chat, uh, I'd love to know the secret behind that. But I thought this one was very cool because he made the block pattern or brick pattern on the, the fireplace. Uh, you know, he's got, I mean, all the detail. You got the all the stuff on top here, the manger, the stockings, the little fire uh, firewood pile here. And the little Santa over here, just the whole thing is just really cool. Very, you can't, you can't see it in the picture, but the fire is actually burning in the video. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's it's look, flickering. Look, it's so that's, that's why I'm saying, okay, I see he's he's put here, uh, if I can find it, he's said it's a tablet. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the only reason I guess tablet is because since you said that the manger scene was two by three, I thought, well, that means the, the whole fireplace mantle thing is probably a little bigger than a regular phone. That's true. But, uh, but yeah, that, that was really cool, uh, really cool project. Um, oh, and somebody just pointed something out here. It's, Hobby says, I love that hidden person in the bricks. And it almost looks like, a, is that like a cat or something? Or is that a person? I'm not sure. But it looks like, after somebody said that, I, it looks like there is something there. Or maybe it's up here. I'm not sure. I'll have to go back and look at that. Um. <laughs> Brian says, that's my project in the fireplace. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're uh, we're coming up to yours, uh, here, Ryan. So. 
All right, so let me get over here. Let's see, I think I gotta take this back down before that thing pops up. There we go. Okay, this is from Keith Painter, and it's an LED lit Christmas ornament. And again, you know, I'm trying to get a, a still picture from the video, uh, but this is all cut out in the shape of an ornament, and it's even got the little hook like where you would hang this on a Christmas tree. And in the video, when you touch this, that turns the LED lights on and off. Yeah. So that was a very cool project. I really enjoyed watching that one. Um, yeah, just uh, just good. Let me let me see if I can make it a little bigger too. I, it's kind of hard to. Yeah, you can see the little little, little hook there, and all that. But they just the whole thing just very well done. Uh, I really like that one. All righty, let's see here. What do I got next? Next, and this one was a hard one. I couldn't get a decent picture of, of this one. Uh, but this one is by Andrew Haig. It is a penguin stocking holder. And again, like I said, I, I tried and tried, and it, I, it's hard to get a picture because even at the end here, it looks like it's black and white. But it's uh, when you look at it straight on, this is like a penguin, and then it's got these little hooks where you would, hook, um, I guess, hang stockings or um, whatever on, on that. So that one, that was a cool little project. Like I said, I apologize for not getting a better picture because it's um, at the very end, a lot of times when people are doing these videos, they, they don't give me a lot of opportunity to get a good uh, still shot, uh, screen shot, uh, you know, you got a couple of seconds there, and that's all you have to to do it. But let me see if I can make this one bigger. Maybe we can see it a little. And it's kind of tough to see. Anyway, yeah, that was a that was a pretty cool project. Watch the video. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, everybody should watch the videos anyway, because that's that's the cool thing. I'm just trying to get a uh, screenshot of them. All right, let's see. This is Clyde Labonte, and he made this, uh, again, I'm not sure if it's acrylic or Lexan or plexiglass or whatever, but anyway, it's a Christmas ornament, snowflake. Uh, it's got the date on there, and it looks like he's got Millie, so he's personalized it a little bit. So that came out pretty well. And I believe he used his, uh, he said he had a little CNC mill that he's uh, turned it into CNC. So um, yeah, he's building a Gatton, but he doesn't have a Gatton built yet. So that was his entry for this year. Next we have, let me blow this one up here. This was a fun video to watch. It looks like it's going to get a little blurry when I get it big. But this is from Matt Awesome Wood Things Haas, also known as the Piano Man or, or the All Things YouTube. He's got about 16 channels, I think, now. So, uh, But anyway, this was on his Awesome Wood Things. He made this sign, says, Naughty or Nice. And the cool thing about it, you can't really see it, but down here he's got two little check marks and both of them have magnets in them, but like this one has a magnet that will work with the nice, but it won't work with the naughty. So, and then this one's just the opposite. So uh, the thought is you give this one to your kids and tell them to put it on there and they'll find out that it won't stick to the nice. It automatically <laughs> moves up to the naughty. So you might be able to get your kids to behave a little better. <laughs> Uh, before Christmas. So I really liked that one. I thought that was a cool project um, and just really neat the way he thought of doing the magnets that way. So good job there, Matt. 
Uh, let's see here. Where are we up to? Okay, now this one is definitely different. <laughs> this one is 3D printed missile toe. <laughs> so, so uh, I'm not sure what exactly happens if you stand underneath that. <laughs> Um, I'd have to, uh, I'd have to ask, I see it was Kevin Mert, I think is the, I hope I'm pronouncing your last name right, but that was his entry. Um, yeah, it is. It's a, it's a mistletoe. Uh, next we've got, uh, Javi's did a advent calendar and again this was kind of a hard one to get a picture of um, and you can, if you look close this is where he's got one through 24 down here 25 is up here for christmas day uh and all the other little shutters are down here where he's got little knobs on them but i figured this is the best picture to make and he did use a uh, pen holder. Uh, you know, we've been doing some shows where we're uh, talking about pen holders and using Sharpies and stuff like that. And this came out really well. Um, and it's a funny video, too, because Javi's got a good pun for all 25 days. Uh, so be sure and go watch that video. But the paint job came out excellent. Even the way he decorated the roof up here, that was all done with a, with a pen, a Sharpie of some kind, I guess. So, um, very well done. All right, let's see. Who have we got next? All right, we got Harry Raglan. And he made this is a Christmas ornament that was made correct me if i'm wrong harry but i think this was made with a vinyl cutter of some kind um i think uh, i think that's what he what he said but he had another one where he had and i didn't get a picture of it but he had another one where it was done with the laser and then he used that same pattern and i believe this one was done with a uh, well, I've got rolled down vinyl cutter. It's called a cry cut or cri CRI. Cry, yeah, cricket or cry cut or something like that. Yeah, I think so. so. Anyways, that's uh, the entry from Harry. Uh, next is uh, Ryan Ballard. Um, poor old Ryan had a little trouble with his his entry. I'll try not to zoom it up too big, Ryan, so it won't show the mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I guess we're calling this a tipsy Christmas tree. Um, you can put like little wine bottles or little liquor bottles in here. The bigger one, I guess, is for big bottles. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, Ryan's out there. So do yourself a favor and watch Ryan's video if you haven't done it yet because it's hysterical. Sorry, Ryan, but I thoroughly enjoyed your very bad day <laughs> yeah you know and each time i was really rooting for him i know and then it's like oh not again <laughs> so his uh, his was probably one of the more entertaining videos uh to watch um and but, i love the tree i think it's just adorable yeah and, yeah you know i just wish it had worked <laughs> well i i like the fact that you know i've seen these these kind of trees but they're not they're not like the tipsy tree they're just a straight straight up tree and then you put you know wine bottles or liquor bottles or whatever in them but i like the way he made it kind of a tipsy <laughs> yeah. uh, tipsy that tree. Is that is a great design i really i really like that but i'm sure i'm sure ryan will have all the kinks worked out before yeah. next year <laughs> so and Finally, here we've got David Battershell. 
and see if I can get this one blown up. And there's a story behind this one. Um, this was a, a an old, I guess this is his boyhood sled. Is that? That's what he said. Yeah. Um, and it was old and rusty, and he took it and bent up, and oh, it was a mess. Yeah. You know? Yeah, cleaned it all up and recut the handle and um, recut these slats, I guess. I'm not sure what you would call them. And then he's even got stuff engraved here. And again, um, I have to try to keep reminding folks, you know, to not only send me a video, but if you can take some good still pictures where I can really see the detail and send them to me, that would help. Because trying to find a spot in a video where it's where I can do a screen grab real quick, it's it's kind of tough so it doesn't really do it justice i don't know if i can get this any bigger and of course it's upside down looks like but there's some christmas trees and snowflakes um that looks like maybe what is that mr and mrs snowman or something right there maybe i'm not sure yeah, i don't know looking guy and i don't I'm, i can't remember now what exactly it was yeah yeah no. i don't I don't think David's out there watching. But anyway, that was that was a nice, nice little project and something that, you know, now that he's got it fixed up. Uh, it's actually usable now. <laughs> so. Uh, so, OK, so you guys uh, over there in the chat, I haven't been keeping up with the comments here. Let me just look through. Uh, some of the comments. Pistol Pete, OSU mascot. That's it. I knew it was an old dude. And that's what it is. Is this football mascot? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He's always got to have the uh, the OSU mascot, <laughs> and that's what that was. Okay. All righty. Well, we're about twenty minutes. Uh, away from the top of the hour here. So I guess we'll just go ahead and rattle off what are the top five. And again, like I said, we've got um, some some sponsored prizes and then pretty much everything else. Uh, I'll make sure that somebody gets something I'll be sending um, because if everybody, uh, yeah, I know I've got everybody's email because that's how they entered. Um, yeah, there it is. So, yeah, so I've got everybody's email. So I'll send you a list if you're not in the top five and well, actually, even if you are in the top five, we'll, cause they'll get to pick first and we'll work our way down. And then when we get down to where all the, uh, you know, the gift cards and the sanding thing that cling spore was going to do and the hold down clamps, then I'll send that list. And everybody can pick something they want. I figure that's probably better to do, you know, because I'll have lots of stuff. I mean, obviously, most people are using the CNC router, so you can always use router bits. So I'll have a bunch of different types of router bits, uh, you know, V bits, up spiral, down spiral, all that kind of stuff. And you can just pick uh, pick something from that list and, and let me know what it is, and I'll get it sent to you. So... Tim down here says, if I can find my thing again here, he says we should have a Halloween challenge. Yeah, that's that's an idea because uh, Halloween's a, another holiday where there's some good decorations. Yeah. Um, but I, I I will say I I was pleasantly surprised that the quality of the projects. Um, and I want to emphasize too, I say this all the time, but I, I really mean it. It's not so much about the person that has the flashy video. Uh, you know, I kind of throw that off to the side. That way everybody's on equal footing. If you just have a cell phone and it's the first video you've ever shot, you know, it's not so much about the quality of the video. It's about the quality of your project. Um, I look for a lot of things. I know Becca does too, you know, uh, uh, 
the the amount of creativity that that goes into it, the thought process, um, and just you know, and, and like I said, we had a lot of people. You could tell by looking, they were thinking outside the box. It wasn't just your typical uh, Christmas project this year. Um, a lot of people went thought of things I never thought of for one. <laughs> but, uh, but anyway, I'm going to get this screen set back up here and we're, I'm going to announce who the number five, we're going to start with number five and go up to number one. Um, but number five on the top five is, again, a first-time entry, and it is Meredith Hammond. Um, this was a, a very short video. I think it was probably less than a minute long. But again, like I said, I like the fact that they're thinking outside the box. It's something totally different. Um, and it's, it's all about the project and not, not the quality of the video. So congratulations, Meredith. Again, I don't know if they're watching. Um, I haven't, I haven't seen them, but anyway, I'll, I'll get an email to them. Uh, but that is the number five in my top five. Um, list all right so now let me see who do i have as number four i think becca and i were pretty much on the same page for for these uh, which is a little surprising because there were, were such you know a lot of different uh, a lot of different things uh, but let's see number Four now is going to be this one. Let me get it queued up here. Number four goes to Rob Schuster and the rolling pin. He probably would have scored a little higher if he just sent a few more cookies. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> I didn't get any. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, um, but anyway, I just really like this one. Um, you know, just joking about the cookies, although they were very good. But just, you know, again, thinking outside the box, um, it's especially uh, impressive to me because I know that Rob designed the machine that he used to make this. You know, because he, you know, we did a show with him a while back uh, where he makes those drums and he used that same kind of thing. So that's just, uh, you know, kind of an extra uh, bonus points there for that. But just the project in general, just it's just cool. It's it's uh, really, really thinking outside the box. And I, I enjoyed watching that video of him making that project and the cookies were good, too. So. So there is number four, uh, Rob Schuster. All right, let's see. Number three is, let me get it queued up here. The number three prize goes to Keith Painter. He made the... Um, wood and acrylic LED lighted ornament. Um, again, just a lot of, a lot of attention to detail there and, and a really cool project. Uh, you can't really go wrong with LED lights when you put something on that. That, that, uh, that always makes it look good. So number three is Keith Painter. Great job, Keith. All right. Number two. Let me get that one queued up here. 
Oops, we got it. Number two is the advent calendar from Hobby, Hobby's Wood Shop. Hobby made the cut. Yay. Yeah, yeah. Just, uh, I mean, it's just a cool project. It is. Not to mention the, the funny puns that he had in the video, but <laughs> yeah. But, uh, but, you know, a lot of artwork there. Um, I like the fact that he used the, the, the pen thing to draw that all in. Uh, Cause we, you know, we've just started talking about uh, using a CNC to, uh, to hold pens and stuff or Sharpies or whatever. So I think it was a Sharpie. I think he said he used on that. Yeah. Um, and to get all those little shutters, you really can't see shutter, the shutters in the picture here. But each one of them shaped differently. But yeah, they, yeah. I mean, they all look basically right. like this one. Yeah. They've all got the lines on them and look like shutters. But they're like you say. They're. I don't think there's probably any two of them that are the same size. Uh, just, just a really cool little project. So, mm -hmm. well done, Hobby. Um, and let's see. Now, let me queue up the the number one prize for the 2019 <laughs> the Christmas challenge. Ah, went the wrong way here. Let's see. And it is all right, here we go. The number one um pick for the 2019 Gatton CNC Christmas Challenge is the Pooping Penguin. <laughs> that is just a cool project. Um, although John did not send me any M&Ms. Uh, <laughs> I will point that out. Uh, but yeah, the, uh, the Pooping Penguin, Candy Pooping Penguin, um, Again, you'd have to watch the video to see all the detail and everything that went into the making of this. And he also made the hat too. He shows the the oh, hat. The sewing machine, yeah. Yeah, being sewed on a sewing machine. So the whole project there, very well done. Uh, <laughs> he yeah. says the M and M's are in are in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, thank you. Um, uh, thank you, John. Uh, just a super cool project. Um, I don't know what else to say. I knew I knew when I saw, and I think this one was like um, in the order that I received the the entries. This was like the seventh one. But after I saw this one, I'm thinking, wow, that one's really good. Somebody's going to have to really uh, really step up their game to uh, to beat that one. So. That is um, very cool. So there you have it. To recap, we've got uh, number five was uh, Meredith with the ink block um, printing press type thing. I don't know really what to call it, but uh, but that, that one was the number five. Uh, number four was uh, Rob Schuster with his rolling pins. Uh, number three was Keith Painter in the acrylic um, Christmas ornament light. Number two was Javi with the advent calendar. And then number one was the candy pooping penguin. So, all righty. Um, what do you think, Becca? I think that I'm going to have to start thinking right now about what I'm going to enter next year because it's going to take me a year to come up with something better than any of these. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, how can you top a candy pooping penguin? Come on. Yeah, that's going to be pretty hard to top. That's going to be pretty hard. But you know what? I, 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 I can't even remember from year to year 
because this is like the fourth one we've done. Yep. And I can't really remember who won last year. Um, I can't remember either. I remember the year before uh, was the, or maybe even the year before that was the front porch uh, Grinch sign that had the Grinch saying on it that looked like a Christmas tree. Yeah, that was uh, uh, Carlo and mm -hmm. Rebecca Varis, I think. And I, I don't remember if that was last year or two years ago. I can't. It, I can't it wasn't last year. It was two, at least two years ago. But yeah. yeah. But yeah, I mean, it's uh, like I said, I, I was really pleased because um, as the, as the, you know, and, and kind of the videos kind of just dribbled in real slow. And I'm like, oh gosh, are we even going to have mm -hmm. that many? And um, then, um, you know, then when they started coming in, I'm like, yeah, they, you know, the quality of the of the projects has, has definitely gone up a notch. So Hobby says Peter Persuela won last year with a train. Okay, well it may yeah, the tree thing must have been two years ago then. Yeah. Uh, oh well it won one year. I don't remember I can't remember from year to year. <laughs> uh, I have to go back. They're all on a playlist. I'd have to go back and, and watch the yeah. the playlist. But uh but anyway, I'm going to be putting together the list of the prizes and I will be sending it to John first and then he will select what he wants off the list and let me know. And then I will send it to the next person and so on and so forth. And then, um, but like I said, I will make sure that everyone that entered um, a video will get, you know, a router bed or a touch plate or something. Uh, there's a bunch of different things. Um, that even I'll... you, Ryan. <laughs> yeah, even Ryan. I I probably need to get. Let's see, what could I get in to make that thing quit screwing up like that? <laughs> I have to go back and watch that video. Oh, it was awesome. I loved it. But uh, it was my favorite one. I'm sorry, but it was. <laughs> yeah, Tim's got a good idea. He says Dave should make a winner's plaque with all the winners name on it each year. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. I could do that. Yeah. All right. Well, folks, we've been on here uh, about 50 something minutes here. Uh, unless you, anybody's got any questions or something, uh, I guess we'll go ahead and wrap this one up again. I want to thank the sponsors, uh, Kling Spore, uh, woodworking shop for, um, giving us the prize of, uh, this, this little sanding. What did he call that thing? I'm terrible with, let's see if I've still got it open here. Yeah, here it is. I've never used those little sanding things, but you know, Vetric uses them on all their projects. They always show using those at, at the end of each one of them. Yeah. Well, I guess it's just a, a little, uh, sanding floppy thing that you, you chuck up in, in, in a cordless drill or something and i can see how it would be really good for uh, intricate design sanding in fact i'm probably I'm probably gonna have to contact mike and um, buy one myself so uh, but yeah so i want to thank uh, mike over at cling spore woodworking shop um i want to thank rockler and I can't remember the lady's name. Megan, I think, is uh, the lady's name that um, offered the uh, Rockler hold down clamps. Uh, Miter Mike, I don't know if Mike, I haven't see, seen him out there in the chat, although I haven't been paying that close of attention. Yeah. Uh, Miter Mike is going to offer um, two fifty dollar gift cards from Amazon. So they will be on the list. And uh, and then of course all the all the little stuff I'm going to do. So anyway, I guess we're going to wrap this one up. Th Becca, thank you so much for offering to uh, help me judge this. And I guess you know the only way you'll get out of judging is if you if you do an entry, you know, because if you do an entry, I won't I won't ask you. But uh, but I knew it was going to be tough yeah. this year. And I didn't want to do it all by myself. And then I was really pleasantly surprised when you sent me th that email the other day and said, here's my top five. 
and we pretty much matched all the way. So uh, we yep. were we were all thinking the, the same thing that the the pooping penguin was <laughs> top notch there. <laughs> so all right, uh, we're gonna do it. That's gonna do it for tonight, folks. Let me see if I can get over here and find the magic button to get out of here. Um, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all for uh, checking out the playlist. And especially thank you to all those that entered. And until next year, when we do it again, uh, we will see you all later. Good night, everybody. Bye.